Original World War II footage from two separate reels was taken to make this film. The first is entitled The Second Armoured Division Weymouth, 8th of June 1944, D-Day, Overlord. The date is taken from the film, therefore it is assumed to be correct, but during World War II no tanks were loaded at Weymouth. In fact, in the background, the pumping house near Berth 101 at Southampton Western Docks can be seen. Another assumption made in the still photos is that the vessels are LCTs, or landing craft tanks, which were smaller than LSTs, or landing ship tanks, as seen in the film. Embarkation Hard S1 was one of three hards built on the River Test at Southampton, along with a fourth with numerous slipways built on the River Itchen. If the Allies were to bring their weight of numbers to bear on the Axis forces quicker than they were able to bring up reinforcements, ports would not be sufficient to load men and equipment onto all the available vessels. Bottlenecks would develop. Therefore, critical to the success of D-Day were these hards built along the south coast. S-1 was unusual because it was modified for the loading of railway freight directly onto LSTs, as can be seen from the track in the film. Larger and with greater range and carrying capacity than the LCT was the LST, or landing ship tank. Doors in the bow allow a ramp to be lowered for unloading cargo directly onto the beach where with its shallow forward draft the LST may be driven. One blast on the tank alarm is the signal to man the vehicle. Each tank crew is quartered as close as possible to its vehicle, so all tanks can be manned with a minimum of confusion. Why was Southampton then overlooked as a possible location for the film? Even residents of Southampton are unaware of the role the town played during Operation Neptune and D-Day during World War II. A wing of the Civic Center or Town Hall was made operational headquarters for the U.S. Army during this period, and a plaque on the building states, Between D-Day, June the 6th and the end of hostilities, orders were issued from here directing the embarkation of the American armies who, together with their allies, sailed from Southampton docks to liberate Europe. During the operation, over two and a quarter million troops and 250,000 vehicles and millions of tons of supplies of the U.S. Army were shipped through this port. As soon as the beach has been fairly hit, the order is given to drop the ramp. When ramp has been lowered, the con is signaled from Foxel by raising arms and dropping them. The order is then given to disembark. The traffic light turns to green and the tanks move out quickly. 